Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we have to talk about some pretty bad news regarding Black Adam, Superman and the new DCEU. We all know that the DCEU is extremely confusing and has had a lot of drama surrounding it, somehow now more than ever. But we have a new report that claims Superman will make a cameo in Black Adam, but it's not how we would have hoped to see him again. According to Akan Ikpe on Twitter, Warner Brothers are still looking to seal a deal with Henry Cavill, but the actor has apparently been the problem for Superman's return. He thinks Cavill isn't into cameos. The actor wants a quality project for Superman, creative power and clear good money. With Grace Randolph backing him up by saying, from what I hear, we have another headless cameo coming up. And My Time to Shine confirming that the faceless cameo will be in Black Adam. This too was backed up by Daniel RPK, who retweeted a quote tweet talking about My Time to Shine's tweet. So it seems like all the main scoopers have heard the same thing, which is very disappointing. If Warner Brothers seriously want to have Henry Cavill do cameos as Superman, then give him a solo movie. You seriously think Henry Cavill would want to return for just cameos as the biggest hero of all time? You seriously think Cavill would want to have three main appearances in the space of four years and then three almost pointless cameos over the space of another three years, with his last proper cinematic appearance being in 2017 in one of the worst DC films of all time? You really think after all that he would want to turn up for an end credit scene that let's face it, based on the DCEU's history, could go nowhere. He wants a film, a high quality film about Superman, not a cameo where he floats in the air or walks into a high school cafeteria, an actual film where the studio respects the character. I'm sure he would have been happy to do those cameos if the studio hadn't disrespected the character of Superman and actually allowed him to have more than one solo film. But because of the lack of interest shown by the studio, I'm not surprised that Henry doesn't want to come back for small cameos. One of the main reasons why I want the Snyderverse to be restored is because Superman was going to be a key part of that. The story was going to focus around him. It just annoys me so much seeing the studio disrespect my favourite hero and claiming that they are struggling to find a story for him, when they literally could carry on with a perfectly good storyline, where Superman inspires the world to become a Justice League and to take on Darkseid and his army united. But instead, they want to make silly cameos in Shazam, Peacemaker, and now Black Adam. Trust me, I wanted to see Cavill in those cameos just to confirm that he was still playing Superman. But finding out that he has pretty much rejected doing those cameos because he wants to do a Superman film instead makes perfect sense. Why would he want to go back to a studio that has no interest in creating another Superman film but wants him to do silly cameos? Just imagine Marvel doing the same with Robert Downey Jr. After the first Avengers film they tell him that they don't like the ideas for an Iron Man sequel but they want him to do small silly cameos for other shows and films and they're not going to pay him the amount that he deserves for the role that he is in. They wouldn't get away with it because they listen to their fans and also have people in charge of Marvel who know what they are doing. DC do not. Fortunately, Zaslav is slowly removing the useless executives and hopefully Hamada is next, but I think the new DCEU movie scheduled to be released this year and next will not make most fans happy. According to Daniel RPK, the DCEU will become even more confusing next year, so the future isn't looking as bright as us DC fans would have hoped for. Apparently, The Flash erases Superman, but he also makes an appearance in Black Adam, but it won't actually be Superman, it will be a body double, and we won't see his face, which would mean the body double for faceless Superman would have made the same amount of appearances as Henry Cavill as Superman, which I think summarises how much of a joke the DCEU really is. And I'm only saying that because I hold high standards for DC, as I love their characters and a lot of their past movies, but I don't think they are moving in the right direction. Right now, my head is kind of a mess with DC, but I'm still hoping they pull through somehow. But make sure to let me know what you think of this news in the comments below. But that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.